Hi guys, today is a product review day. We got a wonderful oscilloscope, digital multimeter, an arbitrary function generator, 3-in-1 from Owen. Let's know about this wonderful product and what can we do with it. Easy to use. Just power the device and select in mode digital multimeter function generator or oscilloscope everything in one button we can select in the digital multimeter voltage DC AC current DC of course it allows to take care about the right connections on the right bones AC milliampers ohms continuity test diode test and capacitors the oscilloscope has two channels, very important, it's no one, it's two channels and is up to 70 MHz at this model. The function generator is up to 25 MHz, only one channel. But something very important that I want to mention with the oscilloscope is we have measurements and we have cursors and also we have the XY in this oscilloscope for all the students in electronics, technical level or engineering this is a wonderful low price tool, the say equipment that we need in the bench to start the career and when I was working in industrial electronics for 20 years I wish to have this toy and not the heavy oscilloscope I was carrying all my life with me. It's just the size of the multimeter I used to have. Now, let's learn more about the product. Something I like is the BNC connectors are covered by plastic outside. Also, the test lead has plastic outside and that's great because in an oscilloscope like this kind it's not grounded so when we connect the test lead we can get a chalk this is a wonderful protection idea for the user talking about the test lead the ground for the test lead is totally independent from the common in the digital multimeter and that's great because we can keep the oscilloscope grounded somewhere and to make an independent voltage measurement somewhere else without any problem or mistake but hold your horses cowboys because the USB kind C connector for the computer or the charger, the chassis of it, the ground of it, is shared with the ground in the oscilloscope. So be careful when you are doing measurements with the oscilloscope, do not have the charger or communication port to the computer without misattending the common point of ground. If you are connected with this one, you cannot connect your alligator wherever you want. You have to connect your alligator only to the chassis of the circuit you are analyzing. If you are not using the communication port, you can connect your alligator wherever you want. All right? For the multimeter, I have here some resistors. The first resistor is plus minus 
the last one too, and the others are plus minus 1%. But first, we need to know the resistance of the test lead. is about 0 0.11 1 ohm 10 ohms 100 ohms One kilo ohm, ten k, one hundred k, one meg, and ten mega ohms. This humimeter is to 100 mega ohms. Diode test. This is the typical silicon diode. Fast diode. A red LED, the yellow LED, the green LED, blue LED, and also for the deserve the white LED. Capacitance. One nanofer, ten nanofers, one hundred nanofers, one microfer, ten microfers. One hundred microfarads. This is a voltage reference, but guys, let's pay attention. It's in a breadboard, so there is some noise in there because it's not a precision shielded system. The reference is ten volts. Nine point nine nine five or nine nine four. How good is it? Okay, it's in the specifications of the multimeters and the tolerance for the chip. But let's ask Owen if Owen is right. And because we have all their own, there are three millivolts difference between one and the other. Let's remember just the chip is 2.5 millivolts tolerance. So the multimeter is okay.
I'm applying here one megahertz, one volt, peak to peak, to this oscilloscope. I'm going to increase the frequency to 70 megahertz, and the voltage should be something between one volt and minus three dB, something between one volt and 0 0.707, 707 millivolts. The voltage should not drop under that level. That's great, guys. The product is what Owen says it was. It deserves a like. 70 megahertz didn't drop the voltage. The, multi the oscilloscope is up to 70 megahertz and it accomplished the goal. What about the function generator? It says 25 megahertz, but let's analyze how is it doing with the harmonics. Just to understand a little bit of this, this is our 25 megahertz and we got the following two harmonics. One is in the 100 megahertz and the other is about 75 megahertz. This is a logarithmic scale, so to understand how big are those harmonics, I will switch the mode and we will see in proportion how visible they are. totally flat. The other two harmonics, they are so little that they are not visible at all. The test lead says is up to 6 MHz in direct mode and to 70 MHz in X10 with attenuation. Let's find out if it is true. I am in 1 MHz, 1 volt peak to peak. The test lead is in the X1 mode and I'm going to increase the frequency to 6 MHz and the voltage should be something between 1 volt and 0 0.707, 700 millivolts is the maximum voltage I can drop there. So let's see if we can get 6 megahertz. Six megahertz and is higher than seven oh seven. So far so good. I am switching the test lead to ten X. Let's pay attention at this point, the voltage is close to 1 volt too. And the same, I'm going to increase the frequency to 70 megahertz and it should not drop under the 707 millivolts, minus 3 dB. So the test lead is for 70 megahertz. Yes, guys, the oscilloscope is what it claims to be and all the specifications are accomplished. Thanks, Owen, by sponsoring this equipment. Thanks, guys, by watching this video. See you in the next video and we are going to know more about this product.